All right, first things first, let's get her out of the box. No staples, just rip open the glue. We get our seat out. And here's our bike. And our part box. So by now you know the drill. We're gonna cut all the plastic and packaging off the bike. We're gonna make sure everything is separated. We'll get the bike up into the stand and then we'll start our assembly. Let's begin. So let's get our stem clamp off. And then we'll get our handlebar on. Put our clamp back on. All right, so we want to make sure that our handlebar is even in the clamp. We want to make sure that the spacing in the front and the back of the clamp is even. We're not going to tighten this down too much right now. We still have to adjust the brakes and get everything aligned. But the next thing we're going to do is put the front wheel on. And as you can see, same tread pattern is on the back wheel. We're gonna make it go in the same direction. So again, when tightening the axle bolts, it's best to use a 15 millimeter, preferably a deep socket because the wrench does not fit between the fork and the axle. Make sure these are very tight and that it's straight in the fork. Next, we'll put the pedals on. All right, open our parts box. And we'll take out our pedals. Now, inside the pedals here and here, it has the L and the R, so we know right side, left side. clockwise to go in. Same on the other side. Since we're reaching through the frame, we're gonna still be going clockwise to get it started. And then we'll pedal backwards to get them set with the pedal wrench. really lock those down. And we can check our chain tension, which is entirely too tight. We do have pegs that have to go on. So we're gonna take our extension, put it on our 15 millimeter. And one side at a time, we'll take these off so that we can adjust our tension on the chain. Put our washer on top of the nut, get our peg, reverse the action, get it started. 
when it starts to touch check our tension we'll actually hold it in place and then cinch it down now we'll do the same for the other side And we will pull our wheel over to where we have the right centering between the brakes and in the frame and tighten it down. Now we'll adjust our brakes. So we want our brakes to hit evenly. As you can see, this side is moving more than the other side. We're gonna back off this screw just a little bit to get the other side equal in balance. And then the wheel will spin freely. We'll put our reflectors on. and tighten it down. All right, so the basic bike is assembled. We are gonna inflate the tires. We'll take her down. We'll tighten everything. Make sure that everything is as adjusted as it needs to be. These really don't take that long to do. And uh, I guess we've got another one in the bag. Oh, this is a beautiful paint job. Hydro dipped, of course. The Big Flyer 29er very coveted bike i hope you enjoyed watching us build it i hope you learn a little bit from this and that you will like share and subscribe have a wonderful day